How to be in charge of your finances By 30, you need to know these financial rules if you want. 1. Rule of 72 It calculates the number of years it takes your money to double, given a rate of return. You need to divide 72 by the rate of return. If your investment returns 8%, it will take 9 years for your money to double, 72 eighths equals 9. 2. 4% withdrawal rule is used to calculate your retirement number. If you said that you would retire with an annual income of $60,000, divide your yearly income by 4%. In this case, you need to save $1.5 million. 3. Pay yourself first. This is a rule that incentivizes you to save money for your future rather than spending it today. Before you spend any money, pay yourself by investing in your retirement and savings accounts. 4. Rule 114. It calculates the number of years it takes your money to triple, given a rate of return. An investment growing at 6% will triple in about 19 years, 114 sixths equals 19. 5. The 50 slash 30 slash 20 rule. This is a rule for budgeting. 50% of your income should go toward meeting your needs, such as rent, utilities, and food. 30% for wants such as dining, entertainment, and leisure. 20% for financial goals, such as paying off debt or saving for retirement. Six, ten five three rule. This rule tells you how different asset classes give you different types of returns. Equity, mutual funds, returns expected to be about 10%. Debt, returns expected to be about 5%. Savings, returns are expected to be about 3%. 7. 100 minus your age rule. This rule is used for asset allocation. Subtract your age from 100 to know the equity versus bond allocation. Age 20, equity, 80%, bonds, 20% age 30, equity, 70%, bonds, 30%. Some people use 110 or 120 to be more aggressive in their allocation. 8. Rule of 70. Divide 70 by the rate of inflation to determine how quickly the value of your investment or money will be reduced by half. For instance, if the inflation rate is 7%, it will take 10 years to reduce the value of your money by half, 77 equals 10. 9. 40% ME rule. This rule applies when a person is borrowing money. It states that a person's monthly income should not go toward their ME, equated monthly installment. For instance, if you make $2,000 per month, you should have less than $800 of EMI. 10. Emergency Fund Rule This rule states that one should have at least three months of monthly expenses in an emergency fund. 3x the monthly expenses should be saved. Some experts recommend saving 6x on your monthly expenses. 11. The April 20, 2010 Rule This is used if you finance a car. Put at least 20% down. Pay off the car in no more than 4 years. Spend no more than 10% of your gross monthly salary on car expenses. Annual savings for retirement This helps you determine if you have saved enough for retirement. By age 30, 1x of your annual salary by age 35, 2x by age 40, 3x by age 45, 4x by age 50, 6x by age 55, 7x by age 60. 8x. Twelve. Purchase a house. Do not purchase a home that is more than 2.5 to 3 times your gross annual income. So, if you earn $50,000 per year, you should not spend more than $150,000 on a home. Thirteen. Savings for retirement 10 to 20 percent. This rule states that because of inflation and rising living costs, it is best to save 10 to 20% of your income for retirement. For more subscribe and follow.